What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Brown Panda. If you have a wood burning stove, you gotta watch this video. So I have a couple wood burning stoves and they don't have any electrical power near them. So I don't have any of those electric fans to move the, the heat around. And they do get really, really warm, but uh, they often get really warm around them. And because you want everyone in the room to be comfortable, you gotta move it around. So that's where I found these, uh, what we'll call heat powered electric fans. This is a twin bladed stove fan here. It's 1970 RPMs. Wow, that's pretty fast. And 430 cubic feet per minute airflow that's a lot of air silent operation fast starting and i really like these i've tried the single fan the dual fan setup and i really love the dual fan uh, because they're much lower they sit quite a bit lower and they just have a little bit of this ducted fan design and so man they do move air in a way that i totally was not expecting so here is the fan itself let's see if we can pull all this out and it's in there pretty good for transport. There we go. All right. And we get oh, a little thermometer right here. So you can see a little coil or spring on the back here. Nice little grab handle. And then a magnet, I believe, right there. So you can put this on top of your stove. And then it will tell you, you know, how hot it is. I never really knew that there was kind of a temperature range. I always crank these bad boys up, more is better. But I guess uh, 300 to almost 500 degrees is best operation. I guess down here it just uh, burns and smokes and creates creosote. So this is kind of nice. You can tell you know, how hot it is which, is, which is pretty clever. And then here's the fan itself. And you can see here, uh, all aluminum construction, I'm assuming. But man, this thing is pretty cool. Look at that, right? I mean, it looks nice, it's got this black anodized finish, so it'll kind of blend into most uh, wood burning stoves, which are also black, kind of a matte black finish. It's really cold right now. I just took it out of its box, so that's why my fingerprints are showing up on everything. And we do have a little uh, wire handle here so you can pick it up. It's kind of interesting. These types of fans with these handles here, even when they've been sitting on the stove for a little, bit a little while, I can actually pick it up uh, by this little hook here. And so that's kind of nice. You see we have Dual fans, pretty nice. I I think part of why they work so well is like this ducted portion. To be really honest, if this were a tube that covered the blades here, it might even work better. But man, they really do shoot a lot of air. What you can see here is we have kind of this lower portion. It's angled, cantilevered, a little forward. And this part, this big flat part, sits on the top of your stove and heats up. And what you can see is this whole upper portion is separated by this little insulator. And apparently the temperature differential between the hot portion down here and the cooler portion up here, which is venting off all this heat, and that's the reason for these big fins, the temperature differential will create an electric current, which is then sent up here into these two motors and then drive these fan. So the nice thing about this is you don't need any external electrical uh, source. They, it is a thermal electric generator, which is pretty cool. It definitely has a serious, robust feel to it. And right here, what I didn't know, this little strip right here is apparently some sort of shutoff, I believe. So it's kind of some sort of regulator. If it gets too hot, it'll uh, shut down. So not to, I guess, overdrive the motors or something like that. So uh, pretty cool. Now you can see here, um, a nice construction right in here we have kind of i guess like some machining or drill marks something like that but on the outside here it's all very smooth some sharp edges but it's pretty cool now i do want to want to say the thing is not very tall i actually thought uh via the pictures it would be a little bigger but i think uh kind of floor to the top here we're looking at maybe six inches it's probably my guess and then side to side we're probably looking at uh, I guess seven and a half, eight inches. So it's not uh, super huge. This piece right here is probably only about two, two and a quarter inches thick. And then with the fan blades themselves, that probably adds another inch and a quarter, inch and a half. And then, like I said, it, because it's cantilevered, this back end sticks out maybe, oh, seven eighths to, uh, of an inch to an inch in the back there. So I'm gonna see how it sits overall. Now, start up a fire and try it out. All right, so the fire's going, and I think it's warm enough. I mean, I actually kind of just got it going to try this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set it down here. And I've only put it on there for a few seconds. Oh, look at that. Boom. There go the twin blades. Like two giant turbines just 
killing it. Yeah, I can feel the air. I'll put the camera right here. I don't know if it's blowing into the mic, but I can feel, I can feel the wind from them, even all the way back here. Wow. I mean, I can still feel the breeze on my arm from right here. So that's pretty significant. I guess two little ducted fans like this do work really, really well. That is a nice little upgrade. Hey, let's like shoot that sucker out. Man, that is awesome. Huge thumbs up on this little bad boy. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Brown Panda, out.